Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I am Sunny Kuswan. Today we are going to see that how we can load our data or data set file from our local storage system to the Google Colab Notebook. Okay, so for that you have to go to the Google Colab Notebook and on left hand side you will find the different options like a search, code snippets and files and folder. You have to select this files and folder option and here you will find the option to browse the data file from your local storage system. So on left hand side you will find this option you have to click on this upload to session storage and it will give you option to browse the file. So here you can see it is accessing my local storage or local hard drive and here you can see in the folder house price prediction under data folder I am having my all data set. Okay. So I want to load this train.csv file in my Google Colab notebook. So I am selecting this file and I am just clicking on open. And what it will do, it will load that file into the my storage of this Google Colab notebook. Okay, so now this train.csv file loaded in my Colab session storage. Now to access this file in my Google Colab notebook and read the all content, I have to take the path of this train.csv file. Okay, so how I can get the path? You have to just hover on this train.csv file and here you will get the three dots. You have to click on that and from here you can copy the path. So once I copy the path, I'll go into my program and here you can see that with the pandas read CSV method, I'm reading the file content. So here I have to paste my copied path. Okay, so let me just paste it. Okay, so here you can see content slash train.csv. This is the path of my this train.csv file, which is available in my collab session storage. Okay, so just keep in mind that whatever the train.csv file we have loaded in the collab session storage, will destroy automatically when we close our collab session. Okay, so it is just in the temporary session storage. We will use it and once we close the session, this file will be automatically removed by the Google Colab. Okay, so now let me just quickly run this and let's see that whether we are able to access and read the content of this file. So I am just running this code and here you can see that we are not getting error. It means that our code is able to find this file. Now let me just try to print the head. That means the top couple of records which are available in this train.csv file. So let me just run this code. Okay. So here you can see that we are getting a data means we are successfully able to load the file from our local storage to our Google Colab session storage. And from there we have accessed our file into the Google Colab notebook code and we are able to display the content which is available in this train.csv file. Okay, so this way you can access your data set from local storage to the Google Colab and use it in your Google Colab code. Okay, so that's it for today. Hope you like this information. If yes, then please hit on the like button. Subscribe to this channel to learn more about data science and machine learning. If you have any questions, or doubt then just mention to the comment box i'll try to get back to you stay safe stay happy see you in the next episode bye bye